Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be talking about HSRP, Hot Standby Routing Protocol. It's a routing protocol that allows host computers on the internet to use some multiple routers that act as a single virtual router, maintaining connectivity even if the first hop router fails, because other routers are on hot standby ready to go. It's redundant protocol developed by Cisco to provide gateway redundancy without any additional configuration on the end device in the subnet. With HSRP configured between a set of routers, they work in concert to present the appearance of a single virtual router to the host on the VLAN. Here on this network, let's ping from PCA to PCC to ping 192.168.1.33. And see we have a reply back and ping from PCC to PC1.1.31 you can see that we have connectivity now I will configure rip version 2 on the routers except for the loopback on router 2 here so on router 1 Enable configure terminal router rep and we want to choose version 2. Now the network of 192.168.1.0, which is this network here, and this is the gateway. Uh, this interface is the gateway for this network and the other network of n.1.1.0 and no auto summary on router 2 enable configure terminal router rep version 2 the network of 10.1.1.0 and the network of 10.2.2.0 no auto summary on router 3 enable configure terminal router prep version 2 and it work of 10.2.0 and the other network of 192.168.1.0 no auto summary now we configured RIP version 2 on the routers except for the loopback of router 2. We'll configure a default route using loopback 0 as exit interface network and then use the command default information originate. This way it will inject the default route into RIP precisely to redistribute the default route into RIP process. So on router 2, exit IP route 0, 0, 0, 0, and the exit interface of the loop back 0. Now router rep default information originate. Now from PCA, I will be able to ping the interfaces on the network. Let us check that. Let's start with the loopback. Sorry about that. A.0, A.1, received. From the loopback, ping. Uh, the interface facing router 2 on router 3, 10.2.2.2.1. Uh, and we receive the reply. Now, by looking at the topology, it has been designed 
with some redundancy. Both PCA and PCC are configured with only one gateway address. PCA using router 1, PCC using router 3. If either router or interface went down, the PC would lose the connection to the internet. Now let us uh, use the command a trace route the path to the loopback zero from PCA and PCC. On PCA, trace RT to 1111. And as we can see here, it went to the default gateway of PCA and all the way to the loop back zero on router two. On PCC, trace route to the loopback. And it's, as we can see here, it went to the its gateway and then to the loopback uh, zero of router two 1 .1 .1 Now I will start a ping session on PC uh, A to the loopback on router two, and then delete the cable between router one and switch one. I will start it from PC A here. Thing. Uh, the loop back and now we can see that the ping is going through now I will delete this cable just to see what's going to affect on the ping now here and delete this and then go back to the PCA and as we can see that it lost the connection with uh, the ping request timed out. And I'll cancel it and connect the cable back here between router one and switch one and if we do the same from PCC uh, ping T with one Why we have one on uh, request timed out and one wasn't because it it has two ways to go to the loop back through this link here between switch two and router three or through the cable between switch two and switch one. Now if I delete the cable and go back to PCC and now it lost the connection and the ping is timed out. Now I cancel it and then reconnect between router 3 and the switch and now, as you notice that PCA, this is the gateway, and when we pinged, it lost the uh, when we pinged, it went through to the loop back zero. But when we deleted the connection, the ping, uh, the request uh, timed off. The same uh, happened with switch one for PCA, and with the same with PCC here when we did the ping from PCC. Now, uh, I will configure uh, HSRP and change the default gateway address on PCA, PCC, switch 1, and switch 2 as router 1 becomes 
the active router by configuration on the HSRRP priority command. Now on router 1, I configure the HSRP, I configure terminal. Now on the interface of gig 01, standby version, we'll choose version 2, standby the group 1 and uh, the IP address of the virtual IP address of the virtual uh, default gateway of 192.168.1.254 now stand by one priority of 150 stand by group one preempt I'll do exit here, exit, show stand by, brief, showing us is still a speak, the state, the active is still unknown, and the standby is still unknown, but the virtual IP, as we configured it, is 192.168.1.25 for the virtual gateway, and now it is active, I'll run the command again, and showing us here on router 1 that the interface is big 01, group 1, as we configured it. Our priority is 150, preempt, and the state of router 1 interface big 001, sorry, is active, and it is local active. In standby, we still did not configure it yet, and the virtual IP address of this. Now going on router 3. Uh, configure terminal also on the interface gig 01 and uh, stand by version 2 sorry stand by version 2 and stand by group 1 IP and also 192.168.1.254 show stand by brief We're still in the speak state now if we run the command again is showing us that router uh, 3 is the state here it is the interface is gig 01 group 1 priority is 100 the default priority we did not configure pm the state is a standby and it is the active uh, virtual router or the router physical router sorry is router one this gateway on this and the standby is local on router three and this is the virtual ip uh, address for the gateway now i'll change the default gateway on the pcs uh, here 254 on pca and on PCC, the same, default gateway 254, and on the switch, enable, configure terminal, IP default gateway of 192.168.1.254, and the same on switch 2, uh, enable, configure Terminal IP default gateway of 192.168.1.254. Now, from PC1, I want to ping uh, from here, PCA, sorry, I want to ping the default gateway or any interface ping 10.1.1. .1 .1 
do. I'm painting this interface here. And I want to paint the default, uh, sorry, the loop back on router two. Now, uh, the same, we'll see if PCC here can ping the loop back. Ping uh, one, that one, that one, that one. Sorry about that, uh, this noise, we have uh, a thunderstorm today or tonight. Now, I will run a ping session on PCA here. Ping to the loop back. One that one that one that one. Now I will delete the connection here between switch one and router one. So I want to bring up the and now delete it. Watch, we still receive a reply. Now go back to. Here we lost the connection for now it is searching for a alternate route and as you can see we have the connection back because it used this route is over uh, the connection between switch one and switch two even if we lost the gateway for the router here now this is uh, simply you know how to configure hot standby uh, routing protocol and as I showed you here in this uh, uh, video that how to configure RIP version 2 and uh, also how to use the default information originate you know here on router 2 and I configured the hot standby routing protocol the whole uh, uh, video or today's video you will see it you know a walk through on the description of this video and please if you learn something or two from this uh, video uh, subscribe to my uh, channel and give me a thumb up and I'll see you soon on my next video thank you so much for watching